Hello and welcome back to my channel. You're in the driver's seat of your own life. And if you act like you're in the passenger seat, you're not taking on the responsibility that could get you where you actually want to be. And that is what we're going to talk about today. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Aysun, I'm 20 years old, I'm from Germany, my parents are Turkish, I'm studying in Scotland, but I'm au pairing in London right now. And that is pretty much me for you. At some point in my life I noticed that I have to step up and actually take on the responsibility to get where I want to be in life. And the thing is, success doesn't come from taking on all the blame. It is about understanding that no matter what happens to you, it's about how you react that creates your character and at the end shapes your life. Either in the way that you want to or you don't notice it and do it subconsciously and you manifest the things that you actually don't want in your life. And that is the concept that I want to talk about today. The thing is, when you're in the car and you have the steering wheel in front of you and you don't use it, the car will crash. And we all know that. But at the same time, sometimes we act so passively and we make an agreement with things that other people tell us and then we just act on it passively. And at the end, we're frustrated because we're not where we want to be in life. And that is something that can be very dangerous because you keep blaming, blaming other people. You keep acting like you're not in control even though you are. Awful things happen to all of us in life. And truth is, awful things also shape your character and strengthen you in the way that you can become a very strong person. Many people that are very successful have gone through a lot of shit and they've learned that they can change. Either way, no matter what happens to them, they are in control, in control of their emotions and in control of their response to the things that happen to them, that happen to them. And that is something very important in my opinion. Obviously, why should you even listen to me? Very good question. The answer is, I failed a lot. I fucked up a lot in my life and I keep on fucking up. And my fuck-ups are probably more prominent than my successes. But success only comes through a lot of failure. If you don't accept the failure, then you might never succeed because you're scared of the thing that will bring you success, which is failure. So I'm not saying I'm awesome, I'm Beyonce, I'm, I'm not all of these things, obviously. I'm just saying that I'm doing a lot of things wrong in my life, but I notice that I'm doing things wrong and I know that it's in my control to change and because I'm an active contributor, I'm the only contributor, I'm the actor in my own life and I have the control, I know that I have the control to change as well, to direct myself towards the goals that I actually want. In this past week, I've listened to The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson, by Mark Manson. And in that book, he talks about the concept of fault versus responsibility. Because in our Western society, we often act like responsibility also carries fault. Something happened to you, something awful happened to you, that's your fault, right? But that is not true. Responsibility doesn't always have to carry fault. It's not about blaming someone. It's not about pointing with the finger and saying, that's your fault, you should have done better. It's about accepting that you have the control and that you can change in the way that you want to change. Obviously, awful things happen. But I feel like in the society that we live in, if things awful things happen to people, we often just pat that person on the shoulder and tell that person it'll be fine, it'll be all right, and just diminish their own power. Because obviously, 
if you want to cry, cry. But at some point, get up again and get on with your life. And I know that it's very easy to say, but what is the other solution? The other solution is to just sit there and wait for someone else to save you. And no one is coming. That is a concept that Mel Robinson is talking a lot about. The concept of no one is coming. When we grow up, we have our parents to tell us, do this, do that. But when we're grown-ups, no one will do that. And you have to be your own coach, you have to be your own mom, your own person that hugs you when you need a hug. No one is coming to tell you, you have to do this, you have to do that. It's you that gives you that organization in life. And if you don't do that, then you probably won't be organized or you probably won't add through constant habits to the success that you want to see. And it's not always about being successful. You define success. If you're the type of person that doesn't need the money and the house and the whatever, if you just want to find a person that you fall in love with and that you want to marry and then build a family with, that is completely fine. We look down on people that have different goals than we have but what I'm telling you is that you can have no matter what goal and I really don't care as long as you are happy just add to your happiness don't wait for other people to come around and tell you what to do or help you doing those things if you need help be the active contributor towards getting help or if you want something be the active person that does something for it. The wounds that someone else causes you are not your fault. You are not guilty. You can't do anything about how life fucks you. But you can do something towards the healing process. Take a wound for example. Let's say you fell down, you have a wound on your foot or on your leg. If you want it to heal, you put on ointment, you put on some oil, you rub it, you massage it, you put it up so it can heal better. And that is the thing, you don't just sit around and wait for it to go away, because it will take way, way, way longer than you actually want to. And both is fine, but if you do the second thing, then you shouldn't cry around just because it doesn't heal, because you're not contributing, you're not doing anything. And you can obviously point the finger at the person that made you fall down or that pushed you down the stairs or whatever, but that, that won't change anything about the situation that you're in. And you put in energy to be in rage and to to say something against that person, but you don't do anything about actually healing, which will bring you more happiness than putting on the blame on someone else. And healing is effort. Healing takes a lot of progress, shadow work, going through trauma. And I can understand that it's uncomfortable. It's more comfortable to sit in your bed and be dissatisfied with your life. But if you actually want to be happy, and if you actually want to achieve your biggest dreams and see those in reality as well, then you can do something about it. To help you do that, you can write down three things that you really like about your life and three things that you dislike about your life and that you want to change. And if you compare both sides, you can try to develop a strategy that could help things on the right side go towards the left side and become things in your life that you feel proud of. And you don't have to change everything. It's about the person that you are and the person that you want to become. And if you choose to be okay with some things, then it's your preference. The things in your garden that will grow are the things that you will water and maybe you don't have excessive water you just have limited water just like you have limited time in your life and you can choose which plants to water if you want more roses in your garden then you should water the roses more 
than the jasmine, whatever. It's about what you want, not about what plants your dad wants in your garden, not about what your neighbor thinks, it's only about you. And that is the thing, prioritizing is very, very important. And when you grow up, you actually understand that you cannot have everything, but you can have the things that are very important in your life. You can have anything, but sometimes you cannot have everything. And that is completely fine because we always want more and want more. But the irony is the more you have, the less likely you are to be happy about those things because you always want more, you always seek more. And if you're actually grateful about the things in your life that you like, and if you think about the three most important things that you want to change in your life, that can actually help you. Every day is a new decision. If you wake up, you decide every day whom to love, whom to give attention to, which job to fulfill, that you have a workout or not. Everything is a decision. Just because it's your, in your routine and you don't question those things, doesn't mean that you don't decide that. You could wake up one day and decide to move to New York and start a completely new life. And that could be your journey. But if you wake up and decide to stay in your routine, that is your decision. And sometimes people are like, oh, I didn't have a choice. That is not true. You always have a choice. Even if someone would come up to you right now and be like, I will either kill you now or you can give me $1,000. You could be like, okay, kill me then, I don't care about you. Giving that person $1,000 just because you don't like death is a choice, because you could choose death. I don't advise that to anyone, but I'm just saying that everything is a choice and everything that you do shows your character. And if you make a choice and you say you don't have a choice, that actually just means that the habits and your character that you built through those habits make you do those things. So if you want to change your character, what you do is change your habits, change the things that you do on a daily basis, then change through those habits and then create a cycle. So just because you're in a routine doesn't mean that you can't break that cycle. It's always in your control. Is it more uncomfortable to change that cycle and to disrupt that? Obviously. But if that cycle doesn't get you where you want to be, then you should probably change it. Like my sister said, I think two months ago, we don't do comfortable anymore, we do growth. So wherever you want to grow towards, just choose that path. Go down that path. Do whatever you want. I really don't care but do something that makes you happy. These were my two cents on taking on the responsibility in your life. I hope this helped <laughs> in any way. If you need someone to talk to, if you have any thoughts or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. Do what you want to do. You know what to do on YouTube. It's 2021, so yeah. And see you in the next one.